Good day, my name is Dr. David Evans and I'm the founder of Vector Vision. I'm here today with our CSV 2000 product and our CSV 1000 product to talk about contrast sensitivity testing. I have personally been intricately involved in contrast sensitivity research for more than 30 years. The purpose of this video is to describe how contrast sensitivity is tested and how it is different than visual acuity. Everyone is familiar with the term 2020 vision. It is now part of our vernacular. There are companies called 2020 Travel, 2020 Pesticides, and so forth. 2020 is considered a measure of perfection and is also a measure of visual acuity. Visual acuity test was invented in 1862 by Dr. Snellen in Utrecht, Holland. It was developed primarily as a standardized way to prescribe glasses. That is, acuity provides a way to measure optical blur and then prescribe glasses to correct it. Or now, along with glasses, contact lenses and LASIK can also correct optical blur. Acuity is a very important measure because it shows how well an outside image is in focus on the retina. But it is also important to remember that proper focus is not the only aspect of vision. The eye must be able to carry the image information from the retina to the brain. Many factors, including aging, fatigue, eye diseases, and other issues, can often affect this ability even when a patient is in perfect focus and has 20-20 visual acuity. Further, visual acuity measures only black and white, and as you know, the world is not made of black and white. The world is made of shades of gray or varying shades of contrast. Contrast sensitivity is tested by having you view different size bar patterns that are presented under different contrast levels. You can see here the larger bars and the smaller bars, and as you look across from left to right, the bars become lower contrast and more difficult to see. During the test, you are asked to determine when you can just barely see the bars. The lowest contrast bar that you can see determines your contrast sensitivity. This process of testing at different bar sizes and different contrast levels creates a curve for vision called a contrast sensitivity curve. This curve can be used for many purposes to help diagnose eye disease, determine the benefits of treatment, or as a measure of overall quality of vision. The curve also allows you to compare your contrast sensitivity score to others of your same age group. Thank you very much for viewing this video to learn more about contrast sensitivity background and how it is different than visual acuity. If you have any questions about the use of our products to test contrast sensitivity or visual acuity, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.